what's up everyone Aaron here at Clean Cuts Lawn Care um, we're out doing another snow event right now I, I needed to leave to start the snow event yesterday um, but unfortunately a shear pin broke off and it didn't just break off it broke off and twisted inside the barrel and um, couldn't get it out I mean tried everything finally got it out so we're starting this um, a little bit late I already started got two done but um, I'm gonna show you some of the houses that we do today all right here's one of our houses we got to do gonna get it done right now um, her son just called me to make sure I was coming I told him I was not far from it while we do this one all the way to the garage we do the walkway and the stairs and um, in the backyard, there's a deck, and we shovel off the uh, walkway to the door of the deck. So, I just noticed um, yesterday when I was fixing the shear pins, I had to keep turning um, the blades in order to get access, and I must have nicked this. So, that has to be um, replaced before my next um, snowstorm. I'm not going to have this break. And it's going to tilt down at an angle pretty low. So, because I have this strapped up inside of the trunk to keep it, you know, higher, a little bit higher off the ground. So, but yeah, I've shown it before. Um, this is my uh, Briggs & Stratton snowblower, 1024L. Uh, it's a 24 inch, and this thing is a beast. Um, I looked at a lot of different snowblowers, and I am really happy uh, with this one. All right, just had to put another shear pin in right there. Uh, these pins are being replaced with uh, quarter inch bolts and locking nuts. Um, has nothing to do with the actual snow blower. Um, these pins, I have went through so many of them, it is ridiculous. So, and like I said, one broke off. Um, it was this one yesterday and it was bent in there. So I gotta get some strong bolts because uh, I, you know, I can't be having this every day. Love the snow blower. Hate the pens. So let's get back to it. All right, we just finished that one up. It's that one with that red car. The homeowner has a sister staying here with her for some reason, and that's her car. Now you can see how clear the driveway is now. Right, so last time it was so bad, she asked me to move the car for her, and I did it. Now, you know, being nice, I knew it would have took her forever to get over there, and uh, she asked me to do it again. So I said, look, I, you know, I, I can't move your car every time I'm not going to. You know, I have a lot of places to go. So I'll move it this time. So I moved it out there, and she was standing out there and for it to go back, and I'm not putting it back. I mean, you know, I'm not being rude, but some of these I, you know honestly the first time i met her the sister i didn't really care for her um she was kind of rude trying to tell me you know oh you got to do this and that i'm like look i know what i'm doing i know what i agreed to do um so i you know i didn't really i'm sure she's probably nice i don't know but you know i'm not going to sit here and move your car for you a hundred times all right let me uh let this car go. Alright, there you go. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to sit there and move your car for you a hundred times. It's not going to happen. I have my whole route to do, plus, um, you know, all the extras that are calling. Which, you know, yeah, they're not very important. Well, I mean, you know, I'm not going to say it like that. They're not priority. But, um, I don't got time for that stupid stuff all the time. So, alright, let's keep moving. All right, I'm at another one uh, just behind me here. It's the one with the brick and yellow. Um, this one, it's not even that bad. She definitely wanted it done though. I met this woman during fall cleanup and um, we started off just doing her fall cleanup and we ended up getting all of her work. So you can see um, we got the two inches in most spaces. Her sidewalk looks like it was recently done, but and we go right up to the door. Um, 
for everyone really but especially like one like her I think she's about 94 years old or something like that so we make sure to get it all the way up to the door all right we're all done here we actually have three on this street uh, one's down there it's at um, the first brick with white rails and then two doors down from there is another one but we're only doing one of those two today then we got a uh, call as needed on the next street and then this customer's sister uh, just called and she wanted hers done today and I've never done it but we'll see um, I'm gonna do it I don't know how much I'm gonna charge for it yet so let's get the snow blower loaded up and get out of here so I want to say um, or talk about how the first year of doing snow removal for our company is going well from a financial standpoint snow removal is great uh, we're making a lot of money uh, ever since the first snowfall which came very late uh, we've had to go out a lot so you know we've been able to do our route several times and um, you know a lot of profit from it so that's good but let's talk about the negatives people constantly calling when are you gonna be here when are you gonna be here even though I explained to everyone when they sign up that they're they're on a route the route is done geographically and I can't help what's going on on the streets and the, you know how bad the storm is or traffic whatever but you know you get through that um, I'm glad we have the snow blower a lot of our accounts came because uh, people with plows could not do their driveways they couldn't get under the awnings or the plow was too big so I know we made the right choice there but if you're using a snow blower to do multiple multiple accounts plan on fixing something on that snow blower every single day every day whether it's um, shear pins whether um, you're tightening or loosening your chute so it a turn it, it's a lot um, but the one thing I'm hoping that doesn't happen is uh, a belt snapping because you've got to basically split the snow blower in half to get to the belts so I'm hoping uh, what I'm gonna do is I want it to make it through the entire winter on the original belts and uh, after the winter's over I will put it through service where it'll receive an oil change a um, um, uh, brand new belts and a brand new spark plug every year that we're going to be using a snowblower i don't care if the belts still look absolutely brand new no wear on them whatsoever oh well replace them i'd rather replace them and get through the next winter without a breakdown in the middle of a storm um you know rather than letting them go until they snap i'm not going to deal with that so all right we just got to go a couple houses down and get on to the next one that's our next one right there um, again another elderly lady she actually had a signed contract with a company that she's had for a few years um, she re-signed that contract I want to say in April when the winter ended he did his contracts right away well we got our first bad snowstorm he never showed up she contacted him and he said oh I decided to drop some customers and take on better paying customers he never notified her um, he never told her he was going to be doing that and he didn't even give her the option to pay more so that big storm um you know she did pay quite a bit because it was really really bad but um i ended up giving her a pretty good pretty decent um per service price after that so i'm gonna go get it done all right finish with this one walkway driveway and an extra parking spot back here that she uses right there good deal all right i mentioned earlier that i had to get a new strap before the next snowstorm it didn't make it so i'm gonna rig one out of this at least until i get to the store tonight just to get through today all right i ended up having to use some slack from here cutting it making my own uh pretty similar to there and hooking it on because uh this was getting caught in the trunk and it wouldn't close problem is where i have these hooked up in the trunk it went through the metal 
the uh, the nipple here went through the metal so it's just hanging on right here on both sides so you know we are um, we're currently looking at trucks um, I have one uh, 2001 Chevy it's a friend of mine's truck um, I'm really thinking about buying it two thousand dollars I, I am worried about the age of it and the fact that it's been worked but um we're really at the point where we need a truck and you know it's affordable I, I'm, I'm really thinking i'm gonna have to do it so but we got to get to the next one all right so i finished the route done with that um no more snow for at least a few days so i'm taking the uh, snow blower and the cargo trailer back to the uh, the shop i'm going to disconnect it all so i'm not hauling it I, I i have to go and replace that strap the one i made broke um i, I knew you know it was going to tear but i at least wanted to get me through the day so you know me and vicky were talking on the phone and uh like i told her within one month um we have to buy a truck see the plan was to start the business in the car because it would be feasible you know starting it off you know we're small whatever and the problem was is um we're not it's not a problem but we got lucky right out of the gate and the business started growing very fast then when we got into um you know we got out of the mowing into fall cleanups we ended up with a lot of fall cleanup customers a lot of those turned into lawn mowing customers now we're doing snow removal uh, we have about 30 snow removal accounts and those accounts are already turning into lawn care accounts only a few of our lawn care accounts do we do snow removal for which I thought was weird that only a few of them signed up but it is the way it is um, yeah so a lot of these customers are now turning into lawn care customers I, I don't mind hauling the trailer with the car for lawn care but I know we're gonna get into a lot bigger jobs where we need the truck um, this coming summer plus just I mean snow removal this setup it, it's not it's not great you can see I'm breaking the strap um, like I said about where I have the straps hooked to um, in the trunk they already created holes which now it's not gonna hold that much longer now I'm gonna have to run the straps through the back seat well lay the back seat down um, and run the straps through it and hook it to something um, like under the seat or somewhere I'm not even 100% certain where to do that but it, we, we need a truck so I told Vicki just now on the phone uh, she agreed 100% uh, we have to buy a truck I'm scared to buy a used truck because of the gamble you know when, when's it gonna break down is it gonna be a week after I buy it um, it would be great to buy a truck to get me through two seasons with minimal time of having the truck in the shop because I'm keeping the car for backup so um, that would be great it, two seasons and I'll have a new truck you know so I'm just pulling up to the shop now all right just let, leaving the lot right now got the equipment put away I took the cargo rack put it in the shop um, I'm not gonna be needing it right now plus like I said I got to go get these straps um, make it right again try to figure out a different way to um to ratchet strap it so if you like the video uh subscribe to the channel uh give it a thumbs up leave a comment keep the measures clean boys i'm out of here for the day